Hi y'all, welcome to today's video. Today, I pulled this palette just because I haven't played with it on camera and I wanted to. So today, I got this look and I like it. Here is the color story. Y'all, today we're doing Am I the A-hole? My husband is reading me the questions. On this channel, we create beauty one palette at a time. Grab your brushes, grab your palettes, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, my hubby is gonna read me the Am I the A-hole off of Reddit, some of the scenarios, and then I, I will respond. So, let's just get started. So, I co-signed for my ex's car because we were getting married, and he said he would be able to pay off the car faster if he got a lower interest rate. I saved him probably 100 bucks a month, and no, he never made any extra payments or tried to pay the car off any faster. I wish he had because then I wouldn't be in this situation. Also, I know that co-signing is a bad idea, so please don't be mean to me about it. All I did was try and help someone who thought I was going to spend my life with. When we split up, he said he'd pay the car note, but wouldn't take me off the loan. Yes, he sucks. Everyone I spoke to at the bank said I had no legal recourse, and I just had to hope he paid it, basically, which he did, until he died last month. The car is in his family's possession right now because, obviously, we split up a while ago. I reached out several times to no avail, so finally called again last week, and they said they don't want the car, and we can discuss selling it if they can't find a family member to take it. I asked for the VIN number and the mileage and stuff, and they never gave it to me. Now the payment is a few days past due, and I'm trying to decide my next course of action before they charge me late fee. Basically, what I want to know is that I am well within my right to make a payment and take the car, right? Do I just show up at their door and say, give me the car, or do I need to get a lawyer and have the police go with me? Um, get a lawyer. First things first. Yes, most definitely. Get a lawyer. Do not do anything with the bank, not lawyer advice. Just a friend out here. Get a lawyer. I mean, I'm glad he was making the payments until he passed away, but y'all, that's, that's kind of scary. And I mean, granted, you know, this is all about a car, but I'm pretty sure that you had feelings for this person at one point because you were going to spend the rest of the rest of your life with him, hence, you know, the reason you would co-sign for this car. But holy mackerel. Uh, yeah. I would get a lawyer. Most definitely. Am I the a-hole for electing not to send a co-worker's granddaughter a high school graduation gift? A co-worker of mine asked me for my address a few weeks ago. When asked why he wanted my address, he responded, I want to send you an announcement of my granddaughter's high school graduation. He went on to say, I want to tap into your fortune. I have worked with this person for several years, but have never met his granddaughter or his daughter. Outside of work, we never socialized together. I have decided not to send a gift money to my co-worker's granddaughter for graduating high school because I believe the co-worker's intentions are selfish and self-centered, only aimed at me because he thinks I am made of money. Am I the a-hole? No, no, you are not the a-hole. In fact, he's the a-hole for using his daughter as a pawn to quote unquote, tap into the fortune, which is none of his business. No, no. I would not send those people a penny and shame on him for saying that out loud, let alone even thinking it. That is rude. And that's your boss? Maybe find a different job. Would I be the a-hole if I forced these RV people to leave? Every few months, an RV parks about 30 feet from my house in a pretty quiet neighborhood. I don't know these people. I believe it is an older couple who drive their RV to come visit their family that lives in the area. They stay anywhere from a few days to a month. The issue I have with it is that they run their engine on idle from around 5 o'clock p.m. until 9 o'clock a.m. all night long to keep their electricity running. It's a large vehicle, so the engine is not quiet. It's not super loud, but it can be heard from anywhere inside my house. It's a low rumbling sound that disturbs our family's sleep and gives us a headache. It's about the volume level of a ceiling fan on its highest setting, only low and bassy. I want to stress that they're not on my property. They are a street parked on a public road. They aren't trespassing. 
The only thing they are doing that's against city policy is parking in the same spot for more than 48 hours. I politely spoken to them about it. They were polite too, but they made it clear they weren't going to stop this behavior. They get too cold if they stop their engine. I could potentially get local police to enforce the city code and get them to move, but they'll just park in front of someone else's house and bother them. Calling the police to enforce a minor issue rule seems like classic Karen behavior, but they are really disturbing my ability to enjoy my time at home. Would I be the a-hole? Well, they're not bothering you, per se, other than the noise. I agree with the classic Karen behavior. But if you've put up with it this long, then you have no reason to gripe about it. But yet, a person can only take so much. I don't know. If it were me, I would just let it be. But, you know, who's to say that it's not interrupting, you know, other neighbors or anything like that? I, I would just let it be. If you think you need to do something, then call the city. Other than that, I mean, I don't think they would do anything about it because it's never been dealt with before. So obviously the city doesn't care either. So technically you're not an a-hole. That's just a sticky situation where you don't want to be classified as one. Am I the a-hole for telling a veteran his only personality trait is Vietnam? I'm from a small town in the middle of nowhere. Not much interesting here, but we get a lot of truckers and road trippers passing through. It's a small village, so everyone knows everyone. My uncle is a combat veteran and got a traumatic brain injury in Iraq. He's pretty debilitated from it, but as a family, we try and get him out of the house and doing stuff so he's able to do. All the, lo the locals all know him and help us out a ton. Most Saturdays, we go down to a family friend's diner these guys know my family well. Owners went to school with my grandpa, their kids went to school with my uncles, and their grandkids went to school with me and my siblings. Yesterday it was me, my mom, my sister, and my uncle. I got up to the counter, there's some guys eating breakfast up there, whatever, and I pay the bill. My guy hands me back too much change because he always tries to veteran discount us on every meal, and I insist he takes it as a tip at least. Dude sitting at the counter, decked out in Vietnam veteran stuff, looks over his shoulder at my family, then turns to my guy behind the counter and says, you better ID that guy. My guy looks at him and says, he's a regular, he's cool. Vietnam shrugs and says, it's your money if you want to lose it. I was mildly annoyed at this point, so I said, my uncle is a veteran. He looks back again, snorts and says, oh, that guy? My mom was tugging in my arm, telling me to just sit back down and ignore him. But I said, yeah, that guy. My guy behind the counter is saying, I served with him, he's legit. Vietnam holds up his hands in an oops gesture and says, welfare clean queens will say anything for discount. You can usually tell by looking at him. So I said, well, at least his only personality trait isn't Vietnam. He said, you want to run that by me again, son? My guy broke it up and got us both calmed down. Vietnam left, but I was ready to fight that guy. My mom wanted me to stop making a scene, and I feel bad letting my anger get the best of me and ruining their Saturday breakfast. Am I the a-hole? Absolutely not. In fact, he is the a-hole. Because if he was a true vet that stuff would not come out of his mouth, period. And I hope the owner of the diner did not give him a vet discount after that. Because that is as low as you could get. And if there is anything such as bigotry in between soldiers or anything like that, that dude has it. Yup. He is the a-hole. Not you. And tell your uncle thank you for his service. Okay, y'all. Let me finish your eyes. Hold on to your butts. Okay, y'all. Here's the finished look. I super like this. I am going to rock this. Yes, I'm going to go in public like this. Do I care? No. So if you see me, just wave. Any hoosies, y'all. All of these opinions in this video are my opinions and my opinions alone. So take it as you will. Leave the rest. No need to be rude in the comments. Any hoosies. I am curious to know what you think, y'all. 
like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell down there. It will let you know next time I upload. I hope you guys are having an awesome, amazing day. Go out and do something kind for somebody and I'll see you in my next video. Toodles.